Yes, says that multiculturalism is in fact to blame for the tragic events last week in France. Here now to explain is the UK Independence Party leader, Nigel Farage, is with us. Uh, you know, it's not just France. They have, uh, listen to Greg's report. They have a no-go zone. Police are not allowed. Non-Muslims aren't allowed. That to yeah. me is, why would France or any other country allow Muslims that have come into the country to basically take over portions of the country? That, that is madness to me. Yeah, it isn't just France. It's happening right across Europe. Um, we've got no-go zones in most of the big French cities. Uh, we've been turning a blind eye to preachers of hate that have been coming here from the Middle East um, and saying things for which the rest of us would be arrested. Um, in parts of northern England, uh, we've seen the sexual grooming scandal of underage girls uh, committed uh, by Muslim men in the majority. And for all of these things, we're seeing the law not being applied equally. We're seeing the police forces not actually doing their job uh, because we've suffered from moral cowardice. We have, through mass immigration and through not checking you know, the details of those people that have come to our countries, uh, we have uh, allowed big ghettos to develop. And when it comes to confronting tough issues, we run a mile. That is why we're in the mess that we're in. We've been led very badly. All right, let's talk about the specific country. So if there's 750 so-called no-go zones in France and Sharia mm. courts on top of it, what other countries have allowed Muslims that have come into their country to separate and create this independent state and Sharia courts? What are the countries? Well, let me give you an example. I mean, in the United Kingdom, there have been tens of thousands of female genital mutilations that have been uh, carried out. Uh, despite that, there has not yet been a single prosecution for anybody for, for carrying out FGM. Uh, we even, um, a few years ago, had some quite clear examples where the immigration services were actually allowing women to come into Britain from Pakistan and elsewhere to join polygamous marriages, something that is against our law. So wherever you look, wherever you look, you see this blind eye being turned and you see the growth of ghettos where the police and all the normal agents of the law have withdrawn and that is where Sharia law has come in. And you know it got so bad in Britain that our last Archbishop well, of Canterbury, the leader of our church, actually, actually said we should accept Sharia law. So you have tens of thousands of young women that have been victims of, of genital mutilation. Yeah. And Great Britain allows, what, the Sharia courts yes. to take care and they, they deal with their own issues? In other words, why would Great Britain, France, Belgium or any other country, the Netherlands, why would they allow people to come to the country, not assimilate, separate, take their land ostensibly and, and then risk even being at war with them when Sharia, if you're coming from a country that you grew up under Sharia, those values directly contradict the values in Western countries. Why would anybody allow that? Well, well I, sure, I mean, I agree with your sentiments entirely, but we have a political class uh, that is leading countries in Europe, hopelessly out of touch with the real world. Is that going to change? To show everybody how nice they are. Um, uh, what it needs to change, but do you know something? I gave a speech here today in the European Parliament with the leaders of all the big European parties, and I said this. I said, for us to improve things in the future, first we have to atone and recognize the mistakes of the past. And I was met with a wall of silence. For now, they just don't get it. Unbelievable. Nigel, thank you for being with us. Appreciate it.